So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my first light with the Rokinon 135 millimeter f2.0 lens. Let's get right into the video. So the setup I'm using tonight is very simple. I have the Rokinon 135 millimeter f2 there with the Canon EOS 70D full spectrum modified DSLR camera. And all that's riding on the good old Star Adventure. And this setup is the absolute perfect travel astrophotography setup because I finally managed to get myself a nice lens and DSLR. So the, the amount of um, awesome nebulae and deep sky objects that you can photograph at 135 millimeter focal length is just amazing. So I have a couple more things to add to this setup like a intervalometer cable, dew, dew heater band, and a couple little things like that. But as you see it right now is basically how it's going to look tonight. And like I said, it's just so portable, so easy to um, operate and carry around. With a focal length of 135 millimeters like this at f2, um, the live view shows so many, so many more stars than let's say my other lenses that I used to have, my kit lenses. So it's so much easier to find targets, and especially since it's so wide, it's so forgiving. So even when I'm using this with uh, H-alpha filter, and it's selecting that specific um, bandwidth of light, which usually only the brightest stars are visible, it'll still be so much easier to uh, find targets with a lens like this, even with one of those filters in. And another thing that I'm ordering soon to add to this um, setup, which will just make it perfect, is a uh, UV IR cut, the H -A H alpha pass filter. That one just threads like inside the lens cap and what that one's designed to do is it kind of um, keeps those stars back and keeps them sharper than what I would have with just the regular lens. The lens in itself though is extremely sharp it's just this filter will even make it the stars less like um, taking over the photo if you will and they actually will bring out the nebula a little bit because it's cutting out that UV IR light which is um, which was taken out when I modified my full spectrum DSLR camera, the original filter. So that, that's my next thing I'm going to get with the setup, but besides that I already have an H-alpha filter, so this setup basically would be perfect um, for wide field uh, Milky Way stuff at 135mm to capture tons of nebula in the same field like Lagoon and Triffitt, Andromeda Galaxy looks really nice with this. Tonight actually is kind of like my first light. So I'm going to actually go after the North American Nebula and sing this, a beautiful, that beautiful big bright nebula I thought it would be the perfect uh, first light image because it's so big and bright. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to spend the whole night on it tonight, I'm not going to do like some big project. So you'll be seeing this video fairly soon, but I hopefully once I get the other filter, I'm going to be doing like a, I'm going to just stay on one spot in the night sky for a long, long time, like my usual 12 hour projects I'm going to do. By the way, in my opinion, the Rokinon 135mm lens is probably one of the best lenses on the market for the price that you can use for astrophotography. So the one thing I absolutely love about this new lens, is look at all the stars I can see in the live view. So yeah, that is an incredible amount of stars, and I just love also the incredibly smooth and firm focus ring so I could move out of focus really smoothly and then slowly go back into focus and find that absolutely perfect focus with my other kit lenses it was like you can't trust it to keep a focus on like this lens I feel confident it's gonna keep a nice focus okay so here is one of the first exposures you can see it there on the screen. So there is what the North America of my target looks like in a single exposure. Compared to my other kit lens, like the stars are like absolutely incredibly sharp, even all the way to the edges, which is which is really nice. Sorry I'm moving around so much, the bugs are crazy out here, but um, that exposure, I'm super happy with that exposure, and I settled on about 20 second shots, very short because I'm shooting at f2, and the moon's out tonight and it'll set later on, but any longer than that is too washed out for me. So it seems like 20 second exposures at f2 works perfect. And the thing about these lines so fast, I can collect so much more light in a shorter amount of time, which is really incredible. Like this is equivalent to a two minute exposure with my other lens, 
which is pretty crazy. So really think that's an awesome first light um, image there. And I really have high expectations for the image that I'll share with you guys at the end of the video. And make sure you guys stay tuned because I'm going to have a lot more um, content coming out about this lens. I uh, should get some more projects in once I get the other filter I was talking about. But until next time, clear skies everyone, and thanks for watching.